Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about the four lip colors that every woman should have in her makeup bag. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. So we're just jumping right into the nude category and I just put on the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It is in a matte formulation. Beautiful, so many different websites and it's a cult favorite basically. So I, I had bought it and I liked it, but I felt like it was a little too dark for me. So I put on Shams Over. You know, I use my Shams lip gloss on everything. So it really worked out well for me. I feel that I can use it, lighten it up a little bit. So that was really nice. So Charlotte Tilbury is a beautiful nude. If you want a matte nude, it is a little bit darker, at least for me. I did a big fail with the Bobbi Brown Bear, too brown. So that's the issue when it comes to nudes. If you go too brown, it's like you're, you're, you're trying to wear a brown lipstick and it doesn't doesn't look good. You go too light and you've literally washed out your lips. Like you've made them transparent and there is no definition. So it is a very tricky situation when you have a nude lip that you really pick out the right formula for yourself. So these are just some that I just want to give you a call out for that I that I wear whether it's on a daily or weekly basis, ones that I've experimented with and think that are really nice to share with you. So another one that I had heard a lot about for, for years, Chanel Boy, this is number 54, Rouge Coco Flash. Beautiful high gloss, not a lot of pigment. So if you want something that's gonna be high gloss moisturizing, a little bit of a nude tinge to it, but it's not going to be a real pigmented lip. It's beautiful. A lot of people talk about this. I do like it, but it's not one that I feel that I get any real color payout. So just be prepared that it doesn't have a lot of color payout for you. Now, moving on to a drugstore. This is Joya Tinted Lip Balm, Soft Apricot. Very pretty, high gloss. I think this is a beautiful nude if you want to have something more on the apricot nude level. This is called Bamba. Very, very pretty. I like this one a lot. You know I like Joya. For some reason, they always surprise me with their products. I'm always like, yes, I didn't think this was gonna be that great. So another one I came out with in the fall is called Figure It Out because I was always being told by my husband to figure it out. So I formulated a lipstick to be high gloss and to name it Figure It Out. So every time I put it on, I'm like, I have to figure it out today. Or that is challenging, but I'm gonna figure it out. I love this because this nude really works for me. Not too dark, not too light. And I love pairing it with Shamps or I love pairing it with a different lip gloss that's going to get, just give me a little extra with that, that nude lip, but really, really pretty and it works because I don't like a brown nude. I like something that's gonna be a little bit lighter for me. So nude glosses, this is really interesting because you can just wear a gloss and have a beautiful fresh looking lip. Hourglass has one that's called Unreal. I bought it recently, I do like it. I find that you just need a little bit, not too much. You almost have to wipe off the, the lip gloss on the side because it's, sometimes it's a little too much. Beautiful nude lip. Definitely think this is a great one for you. Also, I've mentioned for the last 10 years, the two Chanel ones that I really like, number 119 and also number 722. 119 is gonna give you a, a pinkier nude, and then you have just a very, very subtle, beautiful lip. I love the texture of the Chanel Glossomers, very beautiful, and give you that high shine, but that's all you need. You just need just to have the gloss. And then if you want a hybrid that's in between a lipstick and a lip gloss, very creamy, very high watch shine, you can go with a vinyl lip lacquer. This is mine in Bare Bum. Very pretty, nude, just very, very soft. It's, it's a very nice one. Also, if you want a different formulation, not really a gloss, not really a lipstick. So those are, those are some really nice call outs in the nude family. My next category is pinks, one of my favorite categories. Every woman should have a beautiful pink lip color in her makeup bag because this is gonna brighten up the face. It's not gonna be in the nudes. It's not gonna be too in the reds, like it's too much. Pink is just so fresh and so refreshing. And I think a pink lip just looks so beautiful. I love high gloss. I am partial to high gloss and glosses, high gloss lipsticks and glosses. I don't love to do mattes. I just want to have that like really moisturizing look to my lips. 
So speaking of moisturizing, you can go in with lip tints. That's really nice. They're gonna have great properties, peptides for your lips. Ever has two, one's called Petal and one's called Rosé. I think they still have the Rosé, I'm not, I'm not sure. But beautiful, beautiful lip tints that are going to give you that high gloss. They're going to be really comfortable. They're gonna be nourishing and hydrating on your lips if you don't want to have too much color. Those are always really great options. In the moisturizing family still, Bobbi Brown has a really beautiful one called Blue Raspberry. I really love this color. I've loved this color for a very long time. It's more of on a mauve level, but it's the nourishing lip color. That is the category of this uh, Bobbi Brown lipstick. And it's really high gloss, lots of pigment. I really think it's a very pretty, kind of like a staple pink mauve to have in your makeup bag. Now, moving on, you've seen me wear these two colors a lot on my Instagram and my photo shoots. I have one that's called Make It Work, a beautiful high gloss rosy, just a really pretty rosy. You can even use this on your cheeks as a cream blush. That's what I really like about this color. And then I have front page where I want that fuchsia, I want that brightness. I need something, I don't want a red, but I need something that's gonna be more of a power punch. And that's my front page, hence the name, like you're on the front page of the magazine when you put on this color. Now, my favorite gloss that I wear all the time is called Upgrade. I'm going to put that on for you. I get so many compliments when I wear this color. It has flecks of silver in it. It has um, vanilla in it. It has vitamin E. It's going to be very moisturizing on the lip, long wearing. So it is a little tackier. It's not going to be real slippery and it's not gonna move around. So that's what I really like about this. You put it on and it does last. So we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you what this color looks like. This is just a really pretty pink that I love wearing. It gives me just enough color, not too much, not too little, but I have that high shine. It gives me a youthful lip. It gives me that kind of refreshed type, just brighten my face with my upgrade. I've I, I feel like every time I put it on, hence the name, I'm just upgrading my look. I'm upgrading, even if I just had mascara on, I'm giving myself a little bit of color that really just speaks really well each day, whether I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt or I'm actually wearing a suit or I'm wearing a dress. It's just a very pretty color. My next category, ladies, is corals. It always makes me feel like I'm on vacation and I just put on a beach house with a little defiance over it. Those are my favorite combos here. This is a high gloss lipstick with a little high gloss gloss over. And Jean really liked this in her Fierce Aging video. It looks beautiful. I love the lips on you. I love the gloss. Do you love the gloss over the lip? I do. Oh yes. I tell you, defiance is my favorite. I have the beach house on. Uh, it just really makes me feel like vacation, white on white. I love white t-shirts and white jeans. I love corals and navies. I think it's just so classic and so beautiful because it's not a pink and it's not a red. So you're almost like in this beautiful kind of middle ground of just bringing freshness to the face, making your face look alive, but with not something that's too bright or too dark. Now I have Santorini, which is another really popular color of ours, a pinky coral, more opaque, high gloss, very, very pretty. Or if you want to go into a matte coral, which this one's a little bit more orange. This is from Wander Beauty. This is a matte really pretty creamy very comfortable on the lip but for me it's a little too orange i need it to be just a little cooler but very beautiful it's nice if you do want a matte color now nars also has some really high shine very pretty colors if you want that high shine want a tinge of color on the lip they have two that were actually sent to me this one is called egotisk very pretty coral no flex no golds or silvers in it so it's very very pretty if you don't want to have any metallics and then they have the other one that's more of a pinky coral la chamade very pretty also i do like these i like these to be over on a lip i think they're very interesting let's look and see what this one looks like this is la Ch this one is called la chamade if that's right you can feel the high the high gloss going on so you're gonna see a little bit more so i just layered it on top of mine very very pretty though i love a pinky coral that is one of my favorites so this one is a very pretty color 
So if you want to have, I know I have two lip glosses on, but that's okay. If you wanna have something really fresh, coral is the way to go. And the last category of a must have staple in your makeup bag, ladies, is a classic red. Now you don't have to be afraid though. I know a lot of you are like, oh, I'm out. Like I don't do red. You can do a tint, you can do a balm. There's a lot of different ways that you can get that little color, but you don't have to have a bold, crazy red lip. Now let's talk about what colors I picked out. This was hard for me because I have, I have a lot of reds and I really wanted to go through all these reds and I thought, okay, pare it down, pare it down. All right, so I went into the Chanel boutique and I wanted to know what is their number one red. And they told me it was Pirate number 99 beautiful it is glossy it is not matte very pretty very comfortable on the lip very luxurious of course everything you would expect a chanel lipstick to be so this is number 99 pirate i just think that it's so pretty I, this one is scaring me a little bit though because it's loose in the bullet and i'm afraid that it's going to break off so i've been very careful with using it now, if you, if you see me on my Instagram a lot with Secret Weapon, I, I love a matte Secret Weapon. It's more of a blue-based red. It's universal. It's very, very pretty. This is going to be a great red if you're wanting to have a matte classic red lip. Easy, simple way to go. Now, there's another one from NARS called Inappropriate Red. He has the best names. I don't, some are a little, little too risque for me. <laughs> uh, but this one was really pretty as a nice matte red, not too, too dark and not too light. Very, very pretty. And of course, you can always feel good when you're wearing an inappropriate red on the lip, right? Also, Chanel had a really great little sample when I went to buy some of their stuff the other day. And look at this. This is a whole tester of their lipsticks. How great is that? So you can try all of these different cocoa flashes and see which one's right for you. I thought that was a really great way to figure out if you are going, and the names are, are all on the back of these little swatch cards. So if you're looking for a new lipstick and you're like, you know what, I don't know, you can pick one of these up. Hopefully they will still have them. I think it's a really great tool to be able to pick out the perfect color or try them all and see what you you look like with all these different beautiful colors on so those are my four lips nudes pinks corals and reds ladies oh you know what let me put on let's put on let's put on let's put on pirate since it is the number one red in the collection for Chanel let's see what it looks like So there is Pirates on the lips, nice and glossy, beautiful. And you know, another thing I wanted to let you know when you are applying red lips is you can take a little concealer brush. You can take the lip primer that I have here. This is really great. This is where the lip primer comes into play. You can just put a little of the lip primer on and go around the lips so you're really accenting and making the lips look precise when you're wearing a red lip like this, especially when you're wearing a matte lip. Also, you wanna prime the lips prior to putting on a matte red lip for long stain power letting the color really look true on the lips or if you put this on and said oh no I don't want to wear this today <laughs> and your lips are stained you can go in with the lip primer neutralize it out and then put on maybe a pink or a coral or a nude lip but this is just a classic red ladies and there's so many options I want you to really feel like like just take out all your rules of what colors look good on you and try a bunch get samples go to the drugstore try things out just really find that classic perfect lip in all these different categories and feel completely confident and excited to put on lipstick again and ladies until my next video i'll see you later